Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Are you looking for something for your mum this, this Mother's Day? And your mum might like something that's a little bit shabby, shabby chic and a little bit rustic? Well I hope that you like this design and I also have some new flowers to introduce to you because I'm very excited. Okay, rustic shabby chic. The best way forward is to get something that's rustic and shabby chic. Now this can here started off very, very nice. Let me show you. It looked like that. Just a tin. And I wasn't that fussed with it. So what I have done is I've just put like rough as rust. I put a coat of white paint over it. And then I used, oh, here's a wee tip from me. See these little dark colors in here that I've got? What I did with those is I used a bit of um, like tan nugget shoe polish and I just sort of like roughed that over at that and then just burnished that away so that it still looks like there's a little bit of muddiness around the edges. Then I looked at this little, t looked at it and it was still not rusty, chicish, like organic enough for me so then what I did was I just got a knife and I just went around the edges and I just peeled off a little bit of that paint so that it now has that barn house feel it also came with these little handles and you know what nothing was really working for me so I'm very happy with it now okay the first to go in is going to be a couple of pieces of eucalyptus and I just I want this to just sort of like naturally fall I don't want it to look like it's been a arranged in any way. I just want to look like you just went to the garden, picked a few bits of this and a few bits of that. Now I'm also going to put in a couple of pieces of this, isn't this just lovely, these wee rose hips? So I've got a couple of those and it'll all make sense as to why I'm using these very soon. So two of those, I'm just going to put one into there and I have bent these up because I don't want to cut them because I might want to do something else with them. So I'm just going to put one on that side and one on this side. The next to go into here are going to be a couple of these lovely little pom pom dahlias. So I'm just equal distance between each of them like I normally do. That's the best method in how to get things sort of kind of semi balanced visually. The next to go into here are these. Now this is what I wanted to share with you. Let me just get rid of this here. <gasps> I'm very, very, very proud of these beautiful little ranunculus. They're a little bit bigger than what you normally get, but I just loved, I wanted something that was a little bit bigger. And so this is the one that I've had in the range for quite some time and it's little and it's round and it's quite gorgeous, but I wanted something else to go in with that. And I also wanted this pale pink because I think it's going to be perfect for weddings. Okay, so these can just step into there, as I said, equal distance between each one. Some might be a little bit higher and some might be a little bit longer. That doesn't matter. Now with these lovely salmon coloured ones, I'm going to bring those into the centre. And you'll see how the colour of the round of the rose hips connects back and through to that lovely salmon of the ranunculus. Now that, can, oops, didn't take the label off, never mind. That can go down into there. It's a little bit higher, but that doesn't matter. And then with these, I'm just going to step those up and into there, into the middle, so that I'm breaking up some of the, the salmon-y, pinky colour that's a little bit intense. Now, if you wanted to lighten this up or brighten it up, using a brighter green always does a trick. So I'm just going to bend that over. We don't want to be cutting that. So I'm just going to bring a little bit of that into there. And I think that the using as many different tonal values of green, we can either bring it up or lift the colour down. How lovely is that? I would like this for Mother's Day. You guys have a good day and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.